You know, one of the things we haven't even talked about, Roger, and we're not going to have a lot of time, a few minutes left, but that is, you know, we, we talk about keeping your tires pressurized and keeping your tires healthy, but what we haven't talked about is what can happen if a tire's not healthy, if a, if a, a tire blows, a dual blows. And Chris Doherty did one, a, a, uh, a video just shortly, uh, a couple months ago, about a tire had blown and it went up and it ripped up all the propane lines and the electric lines underneath the the RV and it caused it, it caused the fire caused the uh, the RV so I mean these this is a tire blowout is not what you think about on your car where you just pull over and you put on it and, and go your way they can be really serious consequences on an RV right that's definitely true if you think about it and, and if you spend a moment looking at it your car does not have exposed wiring or flammable gas exposed to the tire wheel well. The car manufacturers pack their wires away. The RV industry, um, at best, you've got a piece of plywood. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, a, a failing tire will rip up a piece of one inch plywood pretty quick. Uh, so the damage can get pretty extensive. Uh, holding tanks, uh, you know, that kind of, I mean, a tire will just shred a holding tank. Mm -hmm. Tear out your wires. As you, as you mentioned, can, can loosen up, break uh, propane lines. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And on the blog, one of the advantages there is I've got a number of pictures of failed tires. And I've got a couple uh, posts where I've done an autopsy on tires that the original owner said, everything was fine. I checked the inflation, and it just blew up. Mm -hmm. Well. After doing the autopsy, I had the physical evidence showing that the tire had a leak. It had lost most, if not all, of its air, and it melted the polyester that's in the body. That's 350 degrees Fahrenheit or higher it takes to melt the polyester in the body of the tire. Yep. The only way you can get that is running flat. That's zero PSI. So the, the pictures on the blog, some of them will help you understand the consequences of, uh, you know, what happens. And as I said, I posted more than one autopsy because some people just don't want to accept the fact that a tire can do this. And mm -hmm. that was my job, to do autopsies. I've done about 20,000 in my career.